scale a 640p image to 1080p. Right? Okay, so let's start with Almeril. As she denied Chera one of her, his favorite fight. picks here. She gets the rocket launcher spawn, which also means she has the railgun for free. And we'll see if she goes for any cheeky totem placement off the start. No, but she tries to shop for damage and she lands rail and this is clutch. And another one, Chara is not railable though. But yeah, he utilizes the, the lack of weaponry for Almeril. But Almeril makes, a, makes him pay as well, hitting rail after rail. Oh, and a direct followed up by another one. And Almeril opens up the fragging. Good read by her. She knew that he was going to pick up this uh yeah the health in the murder hole she can take at least one rail safely put down your totem yeah and there you go emma is really stacked again good start for her rob oh well, yeah oh, so good uh, coaching from you she uh, got out of that fight uh, alive yeah but the uh, chara has a healthy stack using the double jump but look at the weapon choice of emerald oh chera gets the mega health just before he, he might die oh that's great damage to uh, emerald of all creatures oh, and he spawns at the rocket launcher yeah emerald will lose out on the heavy oh. <laughs> and walks into a full-on hondo from chera yeah, i think emerald when she pushed that, she, she kind of overextended and she couldn't reach the bounce pad in time to, to get the uh, light armor without dying there. And now uh, Chera is even able to tie up the game. Some unfortunate place there from Elmeril, but she now has the position. Oh, she speeds by despite hitting a rail. And Chera had basically no weapon to fight. He only had two rockets left in his arsenal. Huh? Now Elmeril is worse for wear. Oh, and actually it could, could come down to a trade and Elmeril comes out on top. Lands the clutch shotgun shot and a rail of the spawn for her as well. Stacks back up at the murder hole. And Chera is basically dead on arrival. Now it's him. Oh, boy. Great rails from Elmeril. <laughs> Holy guacamole. You said Elmeril, right? Yes. Okay. On purpose. Okay, okay. <laughs> She just continues hitting yeah. rail after rail. Chara can't do anything. Yeah, and his mistake was also uh, trusting uh, on his rail while well, uh, Emerald uh, just switched uh, to the HMG, which is uh, more and consistent damage. Or not, not more. If you hit your rails, then <laughs> the rail is more, but HMG is more consistent. Oh, what? <laughs> Good rotation from Chera. Blocking of Amaril's rotation. But Amaril's rocket jumps up and the lightning gun pushes her down from the platform. Now Amaril is left with no stack. Fortunately, Chera misses the rail and Amaril gets out alive for now. Grabs a 50 and she's out of there. But Chera will find her. No rocket land for Amaril and Chera just double jumps over her, forces the spawn at the rocket launcher and pushes immediately, abuses his weapon advantage very well there. Chains three frags together, I think, or two. Yeah. Just yeah. a frag chain and now he's in the lead. And the previous frag was really uh, Doom's uh, style, right? Amaral uh, had only the rocket launcher, so Chera just jumped in her face and uh, rained down his LG. So no rockets hit, and uh, his consistent damage uh, sealed the deal. Chara with 30 HP stabilized after that situation. Oh, but he repeaked for a rail. It would have killed Almeril and it, it would have granted him the mega health as well, but Almeril was the one who landed the clutch shot. This time it's the, she's on the receiving end of one of those, and Chara is going to get the, the heavy. And it looks like it's going to be for free. Yeah, and our noodles. There's oh. no armor on Emeril. I will not grant you that privilege. But she has two totems. Yeah, oh, and the damage. And it's 40. Yes, huge. Now, that means she, she has a, a point to fight for this. Misses the rail, and Shara uses that opportunity to push in. And oh, knocks her off the mat. Oh, yeah, that's so unfortunate, really. Emeril rocket jumps aggressively into his face, and Shara makes great use of the double jump of Doom. Dodges all the rockets. 
picks up the heavy as a reward and Amaril has no stack left. Oh, and he gets the opening damage right from spawn and the kill shot is there to follow it up. This time around he doesn't hit the opening damage, so... Uh, Five minute warning. Yeah, but Omeril only has the rail to his name. The Chera has all the tools to fight. She hit all your rails, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's still Chera so Chera needed weak. to push in if he wanted to do something, because he's out of rail ammunition. He still has zero rails. And he's still railable. Amaro, some sort of control, and yeah, she just needs to establish it, keep it, and, and then start to cycle the frags. There's a lot of time. She doesn't have to pause anything here. Yeah, Jera is already uh, mounting a stronghold on the heavy. But uh, yeah, Amaro is aware of it, it seems. So she does some exit damage, but the uh, Terra is also playing a little bit defensive. He wants to uh, get a grab on this lead. Oh, huge rocket from Almaril. Can she follow it up though? And it doesn't look like it. Oh, but she delayed Terra she she enough will. to get the heavy though. Good play from her. But she doesn't hit, and both players are hurting and fall back. Chera has only the rail to, to work with, and Almeril gets the frag. Kind of okay-ish stack-wise, but yeah, it's not ideal. Ah. Ooh, oh. There was an instant that she stopped shooting. She wanted to hit a rocket and then uh, switch back. And... Yeah, that was a little bit of the window that uh, Chera uh, got in the frag. Yeah, if she gets some lightning gun damage out of there, I think she comes out on top. And then it's a one for a game, because she gets Mega as well, but now she's definitely in control. She needs to pick up a few weapons, but then she can force a fight. Like, she is stacked. Oh. That rocket gave Terra a new haircut, almost, at least. Yeah, now we see a little dance for the Mega. Amal gets it, but takes some damage as well. Oh, she didn't pick it up! And Terra gets a clean heavy. So, shared control, once again, three frag difference. Terra is still lacking the rockets, though, and you see that in his play, that he becomes a lot less aggressive and actually really starts to hide out and... Wait for, for secure angles for him to take. Oh, she saw her. Yeah, this is uh, gonna watch. get Chera the Mega Health, and uh, he has enough stack to fight for the Heavy. He might even kill off uh, Amaral before he takes it. Oh. Two minutes left, and uh, Chera gets in full control. <laughs> Well, she did a great job on the last rotation to stop uh, Chera for getting both items. But now uh, that window is closed. And we saw Chera, after picking up the frag, walking a little bit towards the murder hole. This way, making sure that Almaril is not going to spawn at rockets. And. Um, yeah, this resulted in a safe pickup for him. Oh, oh. rain rocket, but. Amaril can't connect with the rail, and now she's worse for wear. And this is the nail in the coffin. She can't come back from this yeah, in, in like five frags in this time. It's it's fairly impossible. But maybe she she proves me wrong as she just gets a frag, and what a clean one that was as well. Chara though, playing elusive. What you can do do when you have has when you have mobility. Yeah, you can escape uh, pretty much every fight, but it is uh, a small map, so you need to keep moving. Oh. No, she was out of lightning gun! That was such a good lift from her! In the end, she couldn't clutch it out. Very nice tries and good comebacks, and it went back and forth up until, I would say, like the 7 minute mark at least.
Terra clutching it out with the rail time and time again. But Amaril is not, not a slouch with the rail either. Both sitting, sitting well comfortable above 1.5k damage with that weapon. It's been the MVP of this, this map for sure. Oh, it almost gets the last frag. But uh, yeah. Um, Amaril had an in this uh, map, certainly. But uh, Jera. Um, yeah, I, I think the last three minutes he was already uh, a little bit switched to defensive mode. And um, Amaril needed to chase. And then she had some uh, unfavorable fight and, and losing uh, full control. Or not, not losing full control. The, the control was a little bit split for the whole match. But in the last minute, um, Chera uh, got a full rotation and pretty much sealed the deal I, I think the next heavy did go to Amaril but then she got a full on Hondo uh, when she jumped down from that platform so yeah yeah I have sunlight and that's why I look so dark <laughs> yeah but now it's it's Amaril's map choice the first one was Chara's pick if I'm correct and we see a Nyx Visor matchup, and I always favor the Visor in that matchup, just because he has the biggest stack and he has a wall hack. But we'll see, Chara is very, very good with the Nyx, and he uses the wall jump especially to create a lot of angles and use it, uses it in a, in a very aggressive way um, a lot of the times as well. It's going to be a very, very interesting uh, matchup in terms of yeah, how Chara is just going to play it, because if he takes a rail hit, eh. Nyx doesn't look so scary anymore. True, and yeah, I always think um, you really need to be in control uh, as a Nyx. Three, two, so yeah, Emerald should just fight. pressure Chara as long as possible. Even if she's out of control. Oh, we already had an invis. Yeah. Yeah. And the ghost walk, uh, the, the vision is popped just after. Elmeril uses it to safely make her way onto some weapons. If she now manages to pick up the time vial slower at the uh, MG, she spams a rocket there, so, so Chara's not gonna go there. But it seems like she's trying to set up for heavy, but she now recalls that the timing wasn't. Oh, what a rocket! That was insane! Yeah, and no Invis. Uh, he does take the heavy. Uh, oh yeah, great uh, escape route using the rocket jump. Oh, wow! Jera just walks into this. Does deal a lot of escape damage or entry damage and also has his ability back up. So it's good that Emeril retreats, but Jera oh, gets the frag anyway. Yeah, and he's beat by that rocket there, creating such a great angle for him. Amara had no business taking that. Amara now picks up a light, but takes a rail, and now she's worse for wear. Shara has the weaponry, but is not in position. And the rocket through the murder hole, one of his last rockets, in fact, net himself a second frag, and, and the heavy as well. Oh, he tribal to follow it up, and, and another rail. Shara is really on fire today. He gets really low, but the mega helps start to stack back up, so... Emerald uh, needs to get some poverty items. Yeah, she, she does get some from uh, Stopwatch. the uh, lightning gun, but does not decide to uh, fight for the heavy, or at least appear to do some damage. Chara, <laughs> meanwhile, yeah. he knows to restack his ammunition and he smells Elmeril, but he doesn't really push in and Elmeril can't punish the pickup. Pops to the side, rails are being traded. Doesn't look too bad for Elmeril, but now Chara is definitely in a better spot and Elmeril needs to get out of there. She is railable and gets hit by a rocket, which makes her stack even lower. Chara, on the other hand, looks healthy AF and falls back to the heavy. 
picks it up uncontested, and Elmeril kind of stabilizes as well. Aggressive Ghost Walk this time. Elmeril smells it, so, though, but yeah, Chera has the item and will win the next fight as well. Three frag lead, two minutes in the game. You no, know, it's. it's uh, Elmeril needs to reevaluate her, her approach to this because Chera uh, definitely has a number for now, Rob. Yeah, and he's perfectly aware what is happening, right? You saw him, uh, yeah, he, he hurt uh, Emerald. Or she, he didn't hurt her, her Emerald for a long time, so he knew something was up. Oh, and now he takes a jump pad, gets hit by the LG, but uh, has his escape tool. So Emerald uh, needs to kill Chara another time. Yeah, and Chara managed to get back to 150, and Emeril can't connect the rail, so Chara's tag is actually still quite good. Emeril now rocket jumps up, gets greeted by some huge rockets herself, but in the end she did more damage. But Chara, elusive as he is, gets out alive nonetheless, and still has the ghost walk, or rather, has the ghost walk again, so... There we go, seeing it activated just after picking up the light. Great timing. Amaril misses the rail again. Oh, and Shara, he's just so great at getting out of those situations with the Nyx in this moment. Yeah, and I think Amaril just now needs to make a choice between the heavy and uh, the mega health. Oh, she goes for the heavy, but punishing damage from Shara. Yeah, she has nothing to fight Someone with, and uh, with falls while uh, Jara gets the mega health. Ooh, yeah, this is uh, spiraling uh, out of control. Jara is playing this so well position-wise. He always has an answer to Elmeril's moves, and he's always in the in the position to deal the damage. Unreturned. Look at this tribal followed up by a rail. Fortunately, Amaro makes it to the teleporter just before the rail can recharge. Five minute warning. And the killing blow misses as well, but then again, she stacks back up, another rail hits, and she's back to square one. 50 stacks, she can't move on the map without getting punished for it. Yeah, and it's a uh, typical uh, Nyx play, right? Hug the walls. Dance around the pillars. Do entry damage and then it's full on attack mode. And Chera is also doing a good job in picking the fights before the items. So this way he has something to stack back up and maintain a healthy stack. And actually a bigger stack than... Oh, huge rocket. Good ghost, uh, good vision activation there. But I was gonna say, he is actually able um, to maintain a bigger stack than Almeril, even though she spawns with a better stack. This time it may be reverse rolls, but she goes up a bounce pad and shows lightning gun. This, this game definitely is not missing a beat. 46%. Oh, and what a direct. You hate to see it if you're an Almeril fan, but Chara pushes in for another one, and now it's getting a tough. Yeah, now it's a tough deal for Emerald to force a comeback here, or make a comeback possible, even. Yeah, I, I do think she, she has to... Uh, she has to force it. But, yeah, the problem is that... Jera no does like not you. have a lot of stack, but... Jera uh, uh, is just also <laughs> hitting more than Emerald is. So there, there is, right now, it, there is no in in a, in a frag for Emerald. Yeah, and this, add, add to that that he's hitting like a truck, he gets all the items. He has nine heavies, nine megas to Emerald's four, and the light armor department is the same count as well. Chara is getting the maximum value out of the items on this map in this duel. And Emerald is really worse for wear. Whenever she picks up an item, she gets punished for it. Jara's playing this insanely well. Yeah. 
yeah, the Emerald. The last time she uh, went looking for a fight, she walked into a lot of damage. So she is a little bit careful, but yeah. the same happens Who anyway. Who goes into yeah. a rail? That's so unfair. <laughs> That's like 300 damage, and you can't do shit against that. Great shots from, from Chera there. But yeah, I, th I definitely think we've reached the point of no return. Like, 2 minutes, 10 frags. Huh? Well, uh, <laughs> well uh, I think it's 20 frags, right? Because you need to uh, kill Nyx <laughs> 2 times for every frag. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> And then factor in that Chara can delay every respawn for 5 seconds, so Amuro basically needs to kill him right at the second he spawns without wasting any time or getting any damage. Which is just yeah. not possible. Another aggressive ghost one though. Oh, and two beautiful rockets again. Chara is definitely warming up. Or rather, heating up. Like, this guy's on fire. Yeah. <laughs> and his LG is uh, melting on the road. Yeah, and he just escapes. And if it really goes haywire, he uh, can use his invis. Yeah, it's it's so hard to stop a Nixon control. Yeah. But, but it's, yeah, it's well, similar to Anarchy, right? When as soon as one of those guys get control, the the ability to maneuver around the map and yeah, deal damage and dip in and out is, is it's just such a nuisance. But if they don't have the control, they get smacked around the map as easy as they can smack someone around the map when when they are in control. Yeah, and, and and you can break it if if you can uh, get the damage out. But uh, yeah, it wasn't happening for Umbrella, unfortunately. 